Okay, welcome back to a fresh video, everybody. Friday morning, the concrete's coming today. Yesterday, we uh, cut all the potholes out and preparated them. Preparated? Is that Prepar a word? Uh, yesterday, we was cutting all the potholes and preparation. Preparation. And preparing all the potholes, uh, cutting them out to about six, seven inch, and squaring it all off. And we're going to be filling them with concrete today. There's another one to cut out and prep there. And we've got the channel with the uh, cable armoured in conduit which we're going to be concreting that in. Uh, hopefully the weather holds up. Uh, what else? I've got a bit of machine work to do but I'm going to try and stay in the yard with Chris today because three tons. He's actually gone on holiday. No, he's gone for a week, a long weekend away to Dublin, the Jameson's factory where they make whiskey. So three ton will be smashed later on. So yeah. Also, I'm going to look at the new truck today and hopefully buy it and bring it back with us. So, so I'll try and show you a bit of that. Right, are we up for it, Caddy? Eh? Aye. Do you know what you're cutting it, huh? No, I'm just getting it from the cash and I'm getting it look right. Yeah. Well, I'll mark it here. I think we're just going to cut that one, big square there, and then uh, that'll do. I think 8Q will fill that. Right, okay, this morning, me and Chris and Kenny have absolutely blitzed the depollution with uh, Literally just created so much space. Uh, so yeah, I don't really know what more to say, but right now I'm going to be nipping out and looking at the new uh, truck. Hopefully it's as good as it looks and we can have a deal. So you might see that. Kenny's been breaking out on the bottles, hasn't it? Yeah, we're going to be finishing cutting that out today and concreting. So concrete's coming at free. Right, I'm going to have to go. All right, so we're here to look at this new truck now. Uh, I'm not going to show too much about it, but it's uh, got a 26 foot bed, it's a 14 tonner, Renault Midland, with a twin deck, been looked after, it's off a local recovery firm, AAA, who uh, do a lot of heavy haulage and recoveries, so it has been looked after, they've just upgraded the fleet, and it's good mates of mine, so we managed to strike a bit of a deal on it, I'm not going to be taking it today, couple of little snags what one sorting on it but this is going to be really good for us and it's potentially can carry three cars maybe four small ones so that's good so yeah looking forward to it probably going to get it early next week but yeah looks good they just need to take a few stickers off it and uh sort the winch remote out but can't wait for this. This is going to take us to the next sort of level on the scrap cars. Especially with this twin deck. How it sits flat. And then that'll lift up here. And slide up these. And then lift up there. So yeah. Should be good. Right. You've done the spark gearbox. Yeah. There's that Merc engine. What we're getting after. Yaris gearbox. You've done. You're doing the headlight. The bumper. And oh, there's that Range Rover engine as well. That's tomorrow, forget it. Right, unbelievable. I'm so annoyed, literally. You're not going to believe it. I don't even want to tell you. But I'm going to show you instead. So, been rushing this morning, scrapping all the cars. And yeah. I'm going to get this batteries down in a minute. I'm going to do it everything. Yeah. Right, well, bloody hell. What a freaking dream boy is this to happen? Right. Good 20 cars. Well, you might as well. What about doing wing mirrors and lights on that scenic and we can bin that? That Audi needs to come down, right? Or Which not? Audi? The one for the end of the drop. No Audi, I don't think. Merc, isn't it? Oh no, he's doing Garris Merc. Yeah. Uh, Spark. I'm going to get that Merc in next, that C-Class. It's a rain drove up top, what needs to come down. Do that. Let's just do the wing mirrors and lights on that scene and we'll bin that. There's literally only the wing mirrors and the light bulb and the ones come off it, the lights and all that. Oh they're not well, I've missed it. You do that now then. And then I'm gonna get these cars down, I'll be one sec. Right, anyway, what I was saying. With rushing, you make mistakes, and I've been rushing this morning. Uh luckily the main thing is safety around here. I was picking up a van and because of, like I've not been processing I've been very minimal on space it is what it is I picked it up the roof ripped open and it landed on my door to smash my window 
Not happy. Look inside. I've got peppered with glass. It's the first, that's actually the first hiccup I've ever done on this machine. It's bent my bar, broke my mirror. It's the first, it's the first time anything has ever hit this machine. And I'm annoyed at myself. I feel like I've let myself down more than anything. So yeah, if anyone knows where I can get a glass from, please message. Or, to be honest, the dint, are you having a bit of a dance there, lad? The dint is actually more annoying than the glass. That is really winding me up. So, I would actually take a full door, and then that way we can put it on and pretend it never happened. So if anyone knows anyone breaking a DX225 Deucen 2013, PM me, or tag them, or whatever. But I want to get this sorted as soon as possible. So yeah, but that's just, it's just, it is what it is. It's happened, there's no point getting mad about it. Even though I was fuming. Yeah, what do you reckon? Yeah, yeah well, what are you happy about that, yeah? <laughs> Not happy at all. Uh, so, yeah, apart from that, it's looking good. Also, I showed you a bit of footage of me looking at the new truck. We didn't collect it today. But we've done the deal. He's going to be uh, taking all the stickers off and a couple of little snaggy jobs. But we managed to chuck in on the deal. So hopefully I can pick that up next week early. And we should be good to go. Uh, the only thing now, what's kind of getting a backlog, is me not being on the machine. The Arctics aren't coming in. I'm having to put a lot of wagons off with the potholes, obviously. Uh, so this is why it's getting done today. Monday next week, I'm going to be non-stop on the machine scrapping arctic's going and it's going to be busy but right now we've got stuff what's sold on ebay where i need to pull off the racks and do it i'm only jumping down here because three tons away in dublin uh oh so yeah what else is that it is that it kenny when are we cutting them all when are we cutting them yeah it's already cut i need to dig it out with the digger all right we're only doing that one these ones are going to be next week Right, what do you reckon, Ken? Have you seen my window? Yeah, I've seen it happen. How come you laughed when I did it? So I hope it's going to hurt you. It's not very nice, is it? I've got to like it when people get hurt, it's funny. Right, that'll do. The main the main thing is, right, you've got to keep everyone going all the time. Uh, I'm not saying they'll DOS, but it requires like a, a, a form of management. I mean, obviously, because I'm down here, I know nothing needs to be run through me so i can do i can i just have a good idea of how it runs and how it needs to be so i'm i'm on top of everyone all the time just keeping it going i mean if you would seen before the last two hours it's just been chaos everyone crossing each other's paths and a lot's happened in the last two hours so yeah right anyway that'll do james what would have broke the cabin he just doesn't like the cabin no he will where's the spark here box Right, so we've got more cars coming in. Uh, scrappers. We're going to keep running the DAF until we do get the new one, which is very soon. Uh, yeah. Happen, yeah, we've got. Uh, I got these from AAA. Oh, Audi Q3. You can show it. Yeah, you can show it. Yeah. Did you do show it? Uh, no, I don't think we did. No, I didn't. I picked them up before when I went to look at the truck, but it wasn't a wasted journey. John might do some hidden treasures on that. He needs to do it on board them, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does really, yeah. Is that wrong? I'll get it with the box. I'll come and get it now. So, we do actually have a new driver who's joined the team. I'll probably introduce him on the camera in the next few days. Uh, like I was saying, we're trying to take the growth to the next sort of level. Why are you pretending it's heavy, John? It's only a several days. He's like breathing a bit heavy there, John. Great to be here. So, yeah, we're going to be trying to take it to the next level on the car collections. To do that, we need more drivers, more trucks, more help in the yard, assistance, which Wheaton will be getting. And then, me on the machine slightly more, and I do believe we could definitely get 20 to 25 cars a day. You're demoted, mate. You're not telling him, no. No, we've not demoted Chris. We've promoted Chris. No, Chris is going to be two days a week bailer, buddies for life, and then driver. And the new driver is Brad, who's going to be pretty much full time on the driving and then the busier we get then you've got Chris's backup because Chris is like the pure buddy and so talented he can do a lot of oh, look at me but he can do a lot of different things James that's the work order for the Matisse bumper right we're on it 
Uh, what's going on now? You've got, oh, you've got two treasures to do. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. You've got this. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Right. This is uh, the Abifa Tucker. Well, stay tuned for John's treasures. What are you doing? Are you doing John's secret treasures? Yeah. They liked John's secret treasures, didn't they? They did like that. Listen. Have you planted that wallet in there or not? Or should we do it after? No, I didn't plant the iPad there. No, but we're, it... we're planting a wallet. No, we haven't. Ah, let's go. Before you said, right. you, just before you were going, you said I'd put a wallet right, in Right, just listen. Guys, we're going to go up for the hidden treasures now for all them people who commented and say they liked. Let's go. Can I watch from the back? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to watch over your shoulder. Alright, so this is an Audi Q3, I'm not sure of the year. I'd say it's 12 year old maybe, not 100% that I can find out. <laughs> it's obviously been in a crash. Oh, it's a show as well. The 13 plate, so 10 year old. I'll keep the they put all the bits in the boot. Yeah, oh, that has been in a crash. Right, listen, I'm not doing it. Why? I'm not having you stood there whilst I'm doing it. Why you it. do it when we're getting video? No. Yeah. No. Well, Chris, you can't be any secret treasures. You need to get I'm out of I'm not in his video. You are? Chris trying to chase him. Right now. I'm only in your video when you turn around and look at me. Yeah. Don't look at me then. Right. Come on, guys. Right. Let's have a look in the in the back. Oof. Doesn't really look like. That was a Zara box. Oh, 20p. Nothing in there. No. There's nothing under there. No. Bloody hell. It's a bit awkward. 10p. window blind check under these mats no nothing there let's check in there USB charger there's nothing in here there's nothing in here 30p well I'll keep that there Is that camera set up alright, where it is? I could probably put it a little bit lower, I'd say. Lower? Like that? It could even go lower, because you'll see your hands a bit. Like that? Can't see you. Yeah, Right, so, so... Nothing in there. Oof. No. It's not looking right good in this one. Yeah. Oh, another 10p. So that's four that's 40p I found. It's just about paying my wage. Actually, no, it's not. Glove box. Some pens, tissues, an invoice. No. Nothing. Absolutely. Zilch. Oh, I can't even get under the carpets. No. Nothing. First car. Failure. Alright, next one. So, next one. This will have been either seized or recovered at the scene. And they've chosen not to take the car back. As you can see, yeah, they've been in a crash. So, oh, they was a bit messy, weren't they? Oh, it just smells mouldy. Right, so there's nothing in there. Oof. Wow, nothing in the glove box. Oh, secret compartment. Nothing. Five p. Wow, his was a bit messy. Someone's broke the arm. <laughs> what? Nothing! It's been ram raided. No. Nope. About 20p. 25. Nope. 
Ooh. Yeah, we're not having much luck in here, James. A couple of lottery tickets, anything in there? No. Well, some keys. Put that front seat forward. Push it? Yeah. Push the seat. That'll do. So, oh, 50p? That's a, that's a good one. Bit of a charger. It's definitely a good job I was wearing gloves in here. It looks like rats have been in here. Too any bits of food. I'm definitely gonna have to wash my hands after this. Ooh. Bloody hell, the sills popped up. That must have been in quite a bad crash, that. Must have it? Boot. Spare wheel. Whatever that is. Hoover. Doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, Desperado, that'll be... Kenny can have that. It's not a very exciting one, is it? Oof, 20p. We've got some... Filler. Whatever that is. There's nothing in there, is there? Oh, look at that. Scalpel. Bloody hell. Oh my god, look at all that money! <laughs> Jesus. One, two. Look at that. There's actually quite a bit of money, yeah? I bet there's about a fiver. Bit of money there. Right. So unfortunately guys, that was probably, put that down, one of the most boring hidden treasures you'll ever see. Car's done. We found about four quid and a load of bits chewed by rats. <laughs> that was all. Right. That's it. That's it, That's it James. Just get that. To all the people who don't think I do any manual labour, yes I do. Oh, uh, they want a test. I'm testing them. Where are you get biscuits from? Oh, that's like enough. Right, concrete's due very soon. We've absolutely depleted everything this morning. Come we're on. quick tidy up now. I move these ward plates, and then we're ready for the pour, pretty much. Kenny just minting off the uh, last bottle. Why has Miles got the beacons on like it's a big job breaking out? Right, what I want to do now then is just literally preparation quick. Put all this turn out, move this part of the way off. Yep. I'll just move all these uh floor plates. You just clean that. Right. We just need to start getting some of this in Kenny, yeah, that's it. Oh, you're not getting the water out there, yeah? Like, leaving it. Oh, yeah, well, well, I mean, that's all right. It's that middle one. Yeah, yeah. you do be getting a bit of water out of that one. Yeah. What? Cam? You know what, Matt? Why? You're probably getting away with a shovel on a piece of greedy tin. Yeah. Kenny, is there still a 
Down this, it does, it has gone down. Yeah, that's it. You see, where it's gone down loads. That that's yeah. it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's, it's going it. back it's in here. You idiot, what am I supposed to do? I'm talking again. It doesn't fall back in there. there. Well, then we have to empty that one. Wow. I mean, the concrete will put the water back. It's not all that, though. Contaminated water is yeah, no, you want it. We want it to be found in the What you can do, Jim, go down on the brush. And brush it this way. Next door, please. No, you're always telling them you're hands on. Yeah, you're going hands on in there, he says. Well, the metal is going to be up to it. No. I hate concrete in. <laughs> right. Good old. Good driver. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't want to say too much. <laughs> so we've got eight cubes here. I've not really measured it, I've just gone off my estimate and I'm hoping we, should, we shouldn't be far off. Down here now. Three speed bumps, it's been on the eye. They're not, it's just used more. Oh, yeah, right. Don't get one of the tanks in it, but always skim them off. Right, that'll do. Uh, you, you drive over. Yeah, you, you drive over. First, to move that out of it. Right. Yeah, move that out of it. Right. The way to the just get it up there straight away. Still trying to still build? Yeah. Yeah, go on, it'll fire it. Ready? Yeah, yeah,
past. Yeah. Have you done that scene, eh? Right. Back on with that VM. Right, 18, 18. Oh, is it 18? Right, all right. Just good timing, that lad. We'll go you from the roof. Oh, Are you roughing it up, Jim? Go to the edge, Jim. I'm not roughing all of it. Okay. Uh, could do, yeah. I would now all fat. We had quite a bit of extra concrete there, so we've uh, filled an extra pothole down the back. And it takes us a bit longer than we thought, but we managed. Rough it all. Because the, the dream team pulled it out the back again. I didn't get Chris concrete. Chris has been on his hands, hands and knees. Stay at that. Ooh. I was going to do one of those, but... Don't stand on it! <laughs> Is that the brush we've been using? Yeah. The no, just go over it all with that, mate. Oh, you're the one that said not to. No, once it's all smooth, you just go over it and rough it up a little bit so you get a bit of grip. Otherwise, there's no grip. Because oh, yeah. you can't tamp it unless you want to tamp it. You want to fill up around, Miles? So we were around. The hot holes so we filled. We filled this one. Then five here. Right down to the bottom. Big one which chucks all the access in. These wow. two small ones down the first aisle. Maybe be buzzing when he's back. Absolutely buzzing. Well we may do with what we've got. Maximum carbonate starts mild the bottle. Oh, so you didn't get like 3D angles on him, did you? Make sure you blur him a little bit. <laughs> the worst part was Miles' commentary. Yeah, it was. It was terrible. Well, you can blame Miles for the potholes because he tamped Whoa. about 30 se seconds and ran out of stamina. <laughs> so there you go. Sure, you uh, but yeah, we've managed. Head. The buddies have pulled it out of the bag again. Till next time, don't forget to like, share, See you comment. Right, See you in a bit. Get involved. All right. Subscribe. What, what do they need to do, Stuart? Subscribe. Subscribe. Yep. Like. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, Plenty share, of comments. comments. We're going to stay here and I'm carry on sorting help. this out. See you in the next one. And I helped. Yeah, and you had a heart attack. No, I didn't. You did, Jim, close legs, you didn't have a heart attack. Did I, Neil? Did I? Yes, you did. I was shoveling like there were no fire. I'm, I'm going to get it on CCTV when you were doing that. I did not do that. Yeah. I'll see you in a bit, Stuart. Nice one. You pick shovel up. The amount of shovel. And then his course had to come off. About 1,700 kilograms. Right, Jim, leave it. You're making a mess. I thought I'm brushing it. No, leave it. You're making a mess. Come on, eh? Yeah, I'm going to get again. No, because I just don't know that. Yeah, did you miss There's a big hole in the middle of it and I'm mad. I'll you just give it a quick there. brush like that. You are. Do. I've missed I'll a bit that. loads. Yeah. This is alright. This wasn't even meant to get concrete. Yeah. This will help grip with port lift going up oh. and down. Nearly finished? Yeah. If anyone does want any concrete in doing, it's all you know, no ask us, do, do not ask bikes in and car breakers. You're not concrete, lads. You're probably all laughing at us. Have we got the job done? <laughs> there you go. We said to Jimmy, oh, get 8 cubes. We've got, got, got 88 cubes. Police men. I think if you get a good angle on that, Nathan will be able to see his speed bumps down yard to keep him, slow him down on that forklift. Yeah, to be honest, it, a bit will. Fast on it, it? it will slow him down. It will. So the theory of it is right. Yeah. yeah. Did we sort this out after the rope plate or not? Yes. So, Saturday. Just about to have dinner and uh, we've now got an Arctic in the yard. Um, with uh, Jimmy loading it with the bales.
luckily he has so cheers to Chris. No, what do I press to record? I can see it's recorded now. How busy has it been today? Busy. Unbelievably busy. Busy, uh, busy. Good busy though, we're not whinging. That's it. I tell you what, I'm quite liking the new aircon addition to the machine. Yeah. I've got like I'm breathing in bits of glass. Yeah. But you can see. I've actually started yeah. telling people I did it on purpose. Yes. And I've scored my windscreen. Been all right, mess. Look at that. Oh. It happens. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying it's, it is my fault, but I'm still going to blame Freetum. Because, hear me out. If Freetum was in, deep polluting, I'd have been on the machine processing. But because I was deep polluting and I wasn't processing, the cars piled up. How much room did I have, Chris? None. Because I had no room, I couldn't even slew, so I had to pick up a van close to me and the roof ripped off and then it fell. So yeah, doesn't matter. But I'm just going to load this out it now and then the new forklift is on its way. I'm hoping they don't cross paths, but they probably will. So yeah. We'll try and get a bit of footage to that when they get here. Have you got a session? Saturday. Saturday. Saturday pub time too. Whee! So as you can see, unbelievably busy and I think Chris has noticed that. And look what he's done. This is why we're called in the buddy. This is why we're the dream buddy. Now that is what we like. My cup's getting a bit knackered now what, though. You what are you after, much. pal? What what? What are you after, pal? Pay rise. Cheers, buddy. You see, that's what we pay call rise, the buddies. Pay that's what it is. Pay rise. I'll pretend you didn't say that. Yeah. No, I'm not joking. Good. That is what you call service, straight to the door. So, right, I'm going to quickly load morning. this. The yeah, the there's another one. Oh, is he waiting now? Yep. Right, don't let anyone walk past. I'm going to have to be quick, we've got another Arctic literally coming straight after this one. So I'm going to load this one, get him gone and get the next one in. There, we, there he is, buddy's in action. One Arctic done, another one to go. New fall lift, it's definitely going to turn up at the same time, isn't it? Yeah, because the new Arctic, the other Arctic. Is that all right? Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully we can time this perfect, but no it is. I bet there's 20 ton. Minus 3.6. Oh, there's only 3.6 ton in it. Fold the weights were a bit dodgy, didn't we, John? Yeah. Ah, that, that's better. 21.9. Look at that. Unbelievable. Just keep holding that door, Oliver. Make sure you don't fall over, lad. <laughs> Good lad. What's Zoe doing? He's got the smirk. Right, nice one for that. Yeah, yeah, no, is the other one at the services now? Yeah, I'm gonna ring him when I pull right, it out. Right, if someone's ever just pull the rope when I go up, that's Yeah, yeah, I'll get him to go up now, yeah. Right, right John, are we managing the walk? Yes, yeah, I've had to pick up a couple of cars this morning. So Chris can stay in the yard. Nathan's usually in on Saturdays, but it's on holiday. Oh, he's got milk. You don't even like milk, Stuart. You hate milk. You're yeah, lactose you only, intolerant. He only has a little splash. Oh yeah, true, yeah. Right, I'm gonna have to crack on again. There's another Arctic coming. Yeah. I need to pull some bales out, ready. Oh! These are the, the Saturday team here. Are you two mates now or not? Yeah. Oh yeah. Have you not added him on Facebook or No. No. No? How are we managing him with the packing? Yeah, good. Good, right. So has Zoe got your dinners? Is she, is she not ordered them? Right. Oh, she's here now. See you later. What are you doing? I'm recording because you're not. I thought you said There's customers here. Right, I'm going to have to crack on. See you soon, boys. I've just got a bulk of going now. I've just got my um, dinner. Shout out to Mannings. But um, James has already loaded a skip this morning. Um, I'm just going to load this one now. And that'll do for a Saturday. We've had a good Saturday. A couple of cars will come in, a couple of drop-offs. But yeah, it's all, all full steam ahead as usual. Be careful with that door, Jim. You have to swept this one out for us. Nice and clean, that. Nice. Oh, don't say that. What's he saying? Mint in there. It's brand new. Let's get this loaded now. 
He has just said it's a brand new trailer, it's a week old. We're going to go with him. He's basically said he's, he's, he's on dim watch, isn't he? Yeah, he's on dim watch. He's yeah, on dim watch. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to make sure I don't dim it. Not that I do anyway. So you're not dropping any on that line you did your machine? Yeah, true, yeah. The only thing getting dinted around here probably your nose. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine dinting your nose. Right, John, I'm going to load this or stand back. Stand back. going to do this now. You could have finished what we're in your gob before you spoke. That's what I cover my mouth. <laughs> it was a good pie though. Can we win a chicken dinner? No, we're revealing the winner. Oh, all right. <laughs> Borsa likes to eat, it's winning when it's not, it never eats chicken dinner. <laughs> the only thing chicken, chicken Borsa likes to eat is uh, pot noodles. Chicken Bors nuggets. Borsa likes to eat doesn't eat meat. Like chicken nuggets, I do. Oh, you haven't been carving? You didn't want any meat, did you? No. What did you get from the carver? Um, vegan Vegetables, mash, potatoes. So why didn't you go for them. the meat? Because it's like disgusting. It. So are you a vegan? No. <laughs> so you just don't like meat? Let me see your hat. What we're going to do with that? <laughs> Is he growing his hair? What's he doing? I'm not growing my hair. No. Anyway, listen. We're going to be uh, revealing the winner of the Upside Down Cup. I know it's a few episodes late, but what I did won? promise you. No one's won? No one's got close. You're joking. So the winner will receive this absolutely beautiful Why upside down cup. Ooh, you are? Why is it upside down? Because it is. What the hell? <laughs> what am I thinking though, Zoe? Why have you done that? No, listen. Actually, I was thinking of cutting a piece of plastic and silicone it on the bottom and drilling a hole in the top. <laughs> Be a mug. And then you undo it to fill it up and then turn it back upside down. Basically, Bo Selector over here made a mistake so you can model the new cup. Whoa, don't drop it. Right, so who's won Zoe? Put that on you. Shut the eye. Who's the closest? Can we, can we find him in all the exact? 7.62. So you're getting it from one. Go on then. 7.62 It's like a good jump. See, it's, this is what I mean, they're good for all sorts of things. We've got a good one from vlogs and stuff, 7 ton. Yeah. Quite close. Well, he's, he's 600 kg out. 6822. Oh, he's close. 16.4, someone said. 16.4? I wish. I wish, yeah. He would be close if he'd he with his 10 ton out. Oh. Let's get the winner, because I need to crack on before someone gets That's what, they're getting the upside down. Right, the winner of the upside down cup is, who is it? What Elon is Musk. Someone's called himself Elon <laughs> Musk. <laughs> 7.728. That's 6.2. Oh, that's yeah. So who is it? <laughs> right, are you ready? Who's saying it? Who's saying it? Selector. No. And I win. No. Right, come on, Bo. Oh, I need to crack on. I can't just do a fine. Just it. type in seven and then scroll right, yeah, the seven. Video, guess, when the, guess when the video was uploaded seven days ago. Just so type in everyone who's coming. Every seven. comment is seven. Oh, oh. Yeah. what? Because it says seven days? Yes, yeah. to this point. Seven, six, five, six. Right, come he's on, won. Man. Johnny Brophy, eight, two, two, nine. Well done. You was the closest person. And you've just won the upside down cup. Let's see it. There it is. If you do want this, well, not. I'm saying this. You've won it. I'm not saying you're going to get it though. <laughs> it's still going to be yours, but it's just going to stay here. No, no. PM us for your address, and we'll get it posted. We haven't. Oh, I think you used it once, didn't you, John? <laughs> John did use it once. I didn't use it. No, it's clean inside. Clean. It's green as well. Yeah. Maybe wash it. Congrat. Though. Do wash it. Congratulations. <laughs> well done, done, Johnny. Done. Johnny, what you called? Johnny. Johnny 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 Brophy, well done. I know sometimes life can be tough. And you feel like you just had enough.